Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I'm Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to troll the briny depths of YouTube so that I can bring you another show of so those love and shinies we love them. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror, and sci-fi. Uh, and really, anything else that I think is groovy, I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offering. Content for the Blood God. Now on with the show. Tonight I have for you Rude. R-O-O-D. That spells Rude. It is a Lovecraftian uh, horror film. Uh, it sits at about 7 minutes and 16 seconds. That means you can do this while you are in the bathroom. Um, go on over to Sky Road Films. Registered trademark. Uh, and show them some love. Um, and, uh, let's see what this is about. Uh, this is rude. I really hope I haven't seen this before. All right, let's do this. So hopefully I haven't seen this one. was written by the man behind the door. But if you just have the book, you cannot see him anymore. And if you just have the door without the book, then it's just an old piece made out of wood. But when you have both, paper and wood, then you will see the man who wrote the book. Oh! <laughs> 
Pulsare, appariere, leckere. Pulsare, appariere, leckere. Profundes Infernorum. Pactum Diabolicum. films i want to give them some love all right so uh let's try to get one more before i switch over to um fallout for the evening because uh that'll be that and once i get uh sleepy and that's it that So the golden age, uh, the golden age Superman probably could have, like um, there. There are versions of Superman that are completely busted, and I don't mean the ones that were made to be busted, but I mean just the ones that were naturally busted, like golden age Superman. Dude could do everything. Like he had, he had a breath for everything. It was fucking crazy. Great movie. I want to run some of these games. <coughs> so, like, I really want to run um, <coughs> Call of Cthulhu. Because sometimes I, uh, I feel like I'm not smart enough to run a game like that. And I, I'm, I'm definitely, I, like, I'm a gamer, so I am, I definitely know how to, like, operate in any game, except for fucking, like, um, card games and gambling games. I don't fucking care about any of that shit. But, like, you know, like, video games, board games, all that stuff, like, you know, like, 
since I was a, a, a wee lad, you know. Um, but running a game, God, man. Just negotiating uh, a battle in uh, in Baldur's Gate three takes forever, uh, and encounters usually take forever uh, in uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Which I'm not. I'm not. It is. It is the nature of the game, and I don't mind it uh, because, like, when you're playing a game, you're playing the game, and ever you know, it's whatever. Uh, even Vale in this is short. Ooh. Sure. It's only nine minutes. Who are you? for the veil. It stays with me. Sit. What is your name? Kaja, of the Ismati Kindred. I have come for- There is a history to that weapon. It was crafted by my mother. It was a gift for the long journey. Quite a gift. Why are you here? I'm here for my fate. You know what I am. An elemental. We are the last guardians of the Red Veil. An energy older than the stars. You are here for its power, the power to transcend all, flesh, consciousness, even time. It lives within all elementals. There's no telling what it would do to you, your body, your mind. It may be the death of you. I walk with so much doubt and pain, knowing what I'm meant to do, finding my purpose, is what I came for. I won't leave without it. When does it begin? It began the moment you entered. Breathe. Keep breathing. Focus on that. And nothing else. Allow the world to fall away. You said you gave up everything.
Is that your purpose? To protect. Protect... what? The moon is rising. No. It is falling. You walk with the fury, the wrath. You're upon of vengeance. Nothing more. Survive this. There is no purpose for you here. Your mind is pulling itself apart. It cannot exist in both past and future. You do not need to die here. Admit your mistake, and you will be returned. No. The Red Veil knows you lied. Where is it? Where is it? Where? No, oh, please, please. I'm here for my fate. 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 It isn't yours, is it? You're an imposter. This is not, not right. This cannot be my fate. There is no such thing. Is it still there? The pain? The doubt? Then tell me, Keisha. Who are you? pretty fucking good um it's like watching um it was like a it was like watching the start of a of a better uh, side story of diablo you know what i'm saying like uh like a diablo story but like not necessarily connected to the nine hell or to the hells or anything like that just just a side story um, or at least the animation did anyway. It could be any number of things, you know. Um, kind of also uh, reminded me of um, Path of Exiles a little bit too, with uh, with um, their cinematics. It's really nice. It was a good film. Gorgeous. <sighs> so, all right. Um, I have uh, my. Uh, my movie Lust Satisfied. Um, 
hope you enjoyed that um, sound off in the comments um, be safe happy and healthy I love you all and I'll see you in the next one